welcome our panel, Amari Faulkner, a business development strategist and adjunct professor, Georgetown University. We have, of course, uh, Greg Carr, chair of the Department of Afro-American Studies at Howard University. A. Scott Bolden, attorney, former chair of the D.C. Democratic Party. Gentlemen, I'll throw it all out to you. Again, I could have easily ignored Kanye, easily ignored all the things he had to say, but I feel it was important for somebody to break down facts so to show you again how hypocritical he was saying one thing and then sitting across the table with a smug look on his face knowing all the cameras were there and knowing the media was going to cover all things Kanye said and nobody was going to offer you the truth about Trump's policies. I think that uh, you did the nation a service, brother, by doing that. As far as I'm concerned, I think about his late mother. I was rereading uh, her book, Raising Kanye, Dr. Don DeWest, who taught African-American <laughs> literature at Morris Brown College mm -hmm. and taught at Chicago State. And another ancestor must be sick to her heart to see a son who is so clearly mentally challenged, uh, who's clearly got some health, some health challenges, I would say, really just dissemble like that. The only other thing I would add is, I think that video, just watch it as one piece, that's a beautiful example of mental illness. Two mentally wow. ill people talking to each other as if they, they don't both need severe intervention. And yeah, it was. I would, I, would, mm -hmm. I would probably say somewhat of the opposite. I think she would look down and be very proud of her son. And the reason why is he's sitting at the table. And I get, I totally understand what you mean in, in regards to facts. But your role in Martin, I've been watching you on television probably for the last, you know, two decades. You have the facts. That's your profession. Kanye West is an entertainer. He was raised on two college campuses. Here's That's why. Here's why, yeah. here's why I will not let him be an entertainer off the hook. That's right. right. And I yeah. see Davis was an entertainer. Mm -hmm. Ruby D was an entertainer. Right. Dick Gregory was an entertainer. Right. Harry Belafonte is an entertainer. Mm -hmm. Paul Robeson is a, was an entertainer. Right. Sidney Poitier is an entertainer. Mm -hmm. John Legend is an entertainer. Lettucey is an entertainer. Common is an entertainer. Yeah, Kerry Washington is an entertainer. Right. Uh, State uh, Erica Ash is an entertainer. Mm -hmm. I can go on and on and right. on I mean, and right. name you. Jeffrey Wright is right. an entertainer. Right. Hold on one second. Yeah. I'm not done. Right. Don Cheadle is an entertainer. I can go on and on and on. These are individuals who at least will attempt to read. And his mother they, was an academic. Talk, he, he was raised right. on this, 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 this is not a guy no. who... Come on. This guy, right, this is a guy whose mama was a college professor. And took him to class. Bruh, <laughs> I, I mean, come, you let them off the hook. Nah, no, something's wrong with that off the hook. What I'm trying to say is, is that what I saw is a person that's sitting at the table, he brought up some very important issues to the President of the United States. No, 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 no. The President of the United States talked, to your point, in Chicago about Stockman Frist, and he said that that wouldn't probably be good for the community. What? I think the stop and frisk. Who Kanye, said that? Kanye said that. Right. He said it probably But then he good. said, oh, I'm sorry to put you on blast. Rolling. Here, here's my whole point. When you at the table, mm -hmm. he, Kanye was not talking to him. Right. Kanye was talking to the cameras. At no point did Kanye say, Mr. President, in your budget, you're cutting mental health. Restore it. Mr. President, you're cutting education. Restore it. Mr. President, you came to my city two days ago and declared stop and frisk should be national policy. That, sir, is wrong. I'm here to tell you you should rescind that. Roland, that's the most I've ever heard Kanye West talk before in my life. But let me well, say, actually, I've heard him talk longer than that, and I still this. didn't hear it. You, you gave over almost 30 minutes of your show to watch that. What I'm trying to say is when I look at that, you can look at other young men around this country, other young black men in Chicago, that may have similar dreams to Kanye, that you can actually make it to the point that you're in the Oval Office. No, no, I see, like this see, this, see, this is... I this like is the, the point he made in regardless of how he <laughs> felt and Jim Brown, how they felt in the Oval Office. But here's the deal, though. I like those you, types you, Okay, you can like how they felt in the Oval Office, <laughs> their, their opinion. But, but if... First of all, you can have your opinion, mm -hmm. but when I'm opposite the very man mm -hmm. who has policies that are completely opposite of what I'm advocating... And I'm just happy to be there. Which is your opinion? My point no, is... No, 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 hold on, no, no. The, that's your, not opinion. The, the entire no, no, segment, stop. Roland, that, the entire on. segment that's was about opinion. you being right and him being wrong. No, 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 stop, that's stop, it. stop. That's what it was See, all about. See, here's you're wrong. My segment was about what the details are. Right. Can you refute a single detail I offered? Yes, I Which can. one? The details about... You didn't go into the fact about fathers being in the home and what that's doing to Chicago. 
You never talk once. I'm sorry. Hold, hold, hold. You, Did he bring the, that up? Let's let me finish. No, no, wait, you, no, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I said. You brought that up. Hold up. You said. You said. I offered. Let me. Let me, let me roll back what you just said. Did you talk about? Hold on one the fact second. That a former president. Hold on one is second. From Chicago. Hold on one second. This plan one second. To fix you, Chicago. One second. You just said. You just said. You offered your opinion what Kanye West said. Mm -hmm. I said. I offered detailed facts to what he said. I then ask you to refute a single fact I laid out. You pivoted, because you can't do it, to something else. Now, I'm going to ask you again. Mm -hmm. I want you to refute a single fact I laid out. Let me give you an example. When you went to Ford's, when you did your one Google search and probably went to the first article you saw on Google. No, actually, actually, I, actually, I saw it uh, three days ago when Ford actually put it out there. Right. But my didn't lose a billion dollars. But my point is, he mentioned about Ford having the best cars, had a vision. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. What's, what's, what's absolutely wrong with that? But, but I laid out the context that while you're saying Ford should have these great designs, Ford also is losing a billion dollars due to the man across from him's tariffs. So maybe, so it, have, can you think but about Logan. that potentially? Ford has an issue with being able to do that. But you Logan. can't have these great designs losing a billion dollars laying people off Rolling. who look like me and you because of his tariffs. When Henry Ford created the Model T, he lost a lot of money too. Dude, you Not just missed what I just said. A lot of money you just missed what I said. because of the president. I, I just said, <laughs> he's been losing a billion <laughs> right. because of right. the tariffs <laughs> imposed by Trump. Well, it's the, and you want to go to the to Model T? And then, <laughs> Bro, and then, on, and then Roland, it's, and Roland it's, everything it's, you talked about, Every single thing that you talked about, it does not, you always blame the president. My point is, every no, budget, didn't. when you mentioned the education budget, yep. the ed education, charter schools, that's not all federal money. The federal government is not the single most funder of all these things. Okay. You missed First the fact of, okay. that we have nonprofits, we have community leaders, no, 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 hold, we hold have up. businesses. Hold up, bro. The federal bro, government hold up, bro. is not the hold end up, all bro. be all. Did you do your research? Yes. You did? Yes. Who created School Choice of the Black Choice Initiative? What does that have to do no, with what we're I, I don't know the answer to that question. Who created School Choice is the Black Choice Initiative? I don't have an answer to you that question. You're looking at them. Don't you dare try to educate me on charter schools. Bruh, what well, you no, did I didn't not, say about no, charter no, no, schools. No, no, no. You just mentioned charter, charter schools. What I said was. What I'm trying to educate you, you on you is. You say the, because of the budget, it's Trump. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That's no, not, no, what, no. not what I said. That's, That's not what I said. What I said is if you are going to come into the Oval Office, sitting across from the president and laying out your grand vision, I'm saying the same man who's sitting there smiling at you, mm -hmm. looking at you, cutting education budget, cutting mental health, putting more people in prison, getting rid of Trump consent putting decrees. More people in prison? Did you not see the Attorney General Jeff Sessions rescinded the order of Eric Holder to telling prosecutors you should go after the full penalty when trying to convict people? Scott, you're a lawyer. Am I right or wrong? And a former prosecutor, and he certainly did. And the other point that you made that made a lot of sense had to do with these orders regarding uh, reforming the police department based on prior police brutality. You know, on one hand, Roland, you have a half hour to break it down. You're right about the the reporters not being there, but the reporters weren't educated. But let me give you my take. I, I watched this and it was cringeworthy. I thought about my father who was a retired judge. I thought about every civil rights leader who's ever saved this country, who's challenged the presidents, whether it was Martin Luther King or Roy Wilkins. And the point that each of them made while the presidents in their time agreed with them, each president, including Delano Roosevelt, for example, told Roy Wilkins, I agree with everything you've hey, told Philip me. Randolph. Hey, Philip Randolph. I agree with everything you've said about the American Negro with housing, health care, family, and so forth and so on. Now, make me now do go it. go make me do it. Now, go make me do it. But it was cringeworthy because I thought about what a minstrel series this oh, was God. and the power of this press conference being broadcast by by Trump and watching uh, this uh, popular rap star perform with ignorance and with submission and with all that we don't stand for as people of color. Now watch this. 
Now, white America looks at that yes, sir. and defines us. The press corps land. Listen to me. That's defines right. us That's right. through the prism of what they saw right. with Kanye West. In I fact, am not Conway in fact, right. in fact, I am educated. In I'm fact, at the top of the legal industry, right. and I don't represent that. And had I been at the White House, I would never go. But if I had been at the White House, Roland, I'm here to tell you that that litany of concerns would have been there. I would have read and researched and been prepared to challenge and Yet my invitation, if I wasn't allowed them to use me, that invitation would have been revoked. And in fact, that's right. when I looked at social media and I saw all these conservatives, <laughs> oh, that's right, Kanye is not on the plantation. He's speaking his mind. I, dude, bro, I know and I've been knowing black conservatives my entire life, okay? <laughs> knowing them, friends with them, who embarrassed by that. It's not a question sure. of do you have a seat at the table. Right. The question is, what you saying That's when you right. at the table? Exactly. Now, if you have a seat at the table, exactly. and you speaking gibberish and nonsense, well, then all you've done is wasted the seat at the table. That's right. Can I respond to something? Go right ahead. That's Scott, right. I agree with you. When I watched that, what I thought about, I thought about my 91-year-old grandmother. Hmm. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I'm a father of four. Mm -hmm. I'm at the top of my field. Mm -hmm. I'm educated as well. Mm -hmm. I have four beautiful daughters that are home looking at me right now that are proud of their father. Mm -hmm. And my point is, what I'm trying to say is that my great-grandmother, she would have been proud of the fact that she's proud of me now because I have a seat at the table. And to your point, when you say you wouldn't go to the White House, mm -hmm. that's just a, that's a cultural shift that we've seen in the past couple of years of, you know, athletes and other entertainers that say they don't want a seat at the table. If Dr. Martin Luther King... Oh, no, 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 hold on, hold if on, if Dr. Dr. Martin Luther King... You said athletes and entertainers. Who? Can I, can I finish? No, no, name them. We've had teams, the Golden State Warriors, we've had the Cleveland Cavaliers say that they will not go to the table. No, 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 hold on, stop, stop. You just said athletes and entertainers at a seat at the table. Going to the White House and holding a God, jersey yeah, is not a seat at the table. Amen. And in Bro. fact, you mentioned A. Philip Randolph. Let me go ahead and quote. But can, I, so, can I finish my, my, my hold last Hold on, hold on. I'm going to quote the table. I'm going to quote the table so you have context. Sure. So. A. Philip Randolph, a. Philip Randolph yeah. said this. Yes. At the banquet table of nature, there are no reserved seats. You get what you can take, and you keep what you can hold. If you can't take anything, you won't get anything. If you can't hold anything, you won't keep anything. And you can't take anything without organization. Explain to Peace. me having a seat at the table mm -hmm. and you got nothing to say when you lay all these things out and literally right. the person across from you stands in direct opposition to everything you just said. My great grandmother, she wasn't A. Philip Randolph, but she was born in 1901. She couldn't read or write, but she can count money like no one else. And she left a legacy for her children. And I respect that woman from Memphis. And what I would say is, she, answer my question. she always to told me, the White House she thing? always told me, you always take the seat at the table because you have an opportunity. If people would have, if Martin Luther King Jr. would have said the same thing about Lyndon Johnson, who many have said he was a known and open racist, I'm not gonna sit across the table from him and work for the betterment bruh, of black people. Ask you, Hold where up, bruh, would we be bruh, today? That's bruh, not bruh, just bruh, question now. Bruh. Because do, bro, do I need to do I need to play some audio tapes of what of what MLK said when he was at in the room? He was he had a seat at the table. No 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 no. He was in see, the room. This, see this see no, no. see this is the mistake you keep making. No. You keep focusing on I had a seat. Mm -hmm. No. Not enough. The issue ain't the seat. Mm -hmm. Not enough. It's what you're saying when you're in the seat. It, it, right. You can't sit here and say what MLK did because when he went into the room. First of all, he had a plan of action before he walked in. Right. Not only that, he knew the person across from him, Bro. what his plan of action, bruh. If you think he I'm said trying to compare it, Kanye West. Well, hell, you brought him okay up. But it's I, am, I am talking about the fact that during this process, mm -hmm. the men to my right, we're chuckling and we're laughing, but someone has access in the seat of the table That's rolling. Not, not you funny. have been it's the White MPI. House. Hold up. You have been, right. And guess what? Right. When I went to the White House right. and asked, what's your plan for Chicago? Right. And Roland, I would expect that from you. What do you think? But what do you, I would expect what, that from what you. What was his answer? I would expect that from what, you. What, 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 do you think I expect that from What did I say Kanye what his West? answer was? Strength. Roland, I said. No, 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 no. I, I, I told you what his answer was. How offended are you when I asked the question, what's your plan for Chicago? And he went, strength. I'm not offended by that. Well, Donald Trump is. Well, is that a plan? No, it's not a plan. <laughs> right. what, what was what was what was Barack Obama's or well, George Bush's at, plan for Chicago? Let's just look at what was what was Rahm Emanuel's real, real plan? Real quick, real quick. The uh, President Obama's. Uh, so you so you find with the president saying my plan is strength. 
No. I am fine with the fact that President, President Trump seems to be doing something to address this issue. Hold up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Really? Don't do Hold up. Don't do it. Where's the evidence? One second. One second. Where's the evidence? That doesn't make sense right either. This is the evidence. No, one second. Where's the evidence? This is the evidence. We are talking about it today. For the past Hold 10 up, years, that's the evidence? For the past the 10 years. That's bringing, the evidence? Bringing in spotlight. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Happened. When has Donald Trump, since he's been president, even before when he was running, when did he go to Chicago to address the issues? But you said while he was running? Has he been president? Has Donald Trump gone to Chicago to specifically to community folks address the issue of violence in Chicago? I haven't seen that yet, and that's something that I would say to the president if I was looking him dead in the face. I would like to see more. Maybe action. Kanye should have brought it up. I want to go ahead, I just, I just, I just say very quickly: there are two ways for black people to get into the Oval Office. One is by invitation because they somehow can be used by the person sitting there. Or exploited. Well, yeah, or exploited. Mm -hmm. The other reason is because they're unavoidable. No, you left, you left the third one. What's that third they one? work there. Oh, oh, now that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, the butlers. Yeah, no I question. Was and, and in fact, what you're did Donald Trump say? The, pur the purpose of this meeting was lunch. But anyway, let's set that to the side. Uh, your, your grandmother, your great-grandmother, mm -hmm. 1901, yep. Memphis, I'm from Nashville. About a year, or uh, two years after your great-grandmother was born, Booker T. Washington was invited to the White House by Theodore Roosevelt, an open mm. racist. Mm -hmm. And the white press went apoplectic. The reason that he was invited was because Booker T. Washington was seen as the spokesperson for the entire race. Mm -hmm. He had been propped up by Cornelius Vanderbilt, Andrew Carnegie, so and so. It wasn't because Roosevelt uh, somehow liked Booker T. Washington. He was the guy who was on the table to negotiate. Let's go back in time. Abraham Lincoln, Frederick Douglass invited to the White House. Why? Because Lincoln needed Douglass to help him win the war. Let's come forward in time. Another racist, uh, Woodrow Wilson, when Monroe Trotter went to the White House, he blasted Wilson so tough that Wilson literally threw him out of the White House. Right. Let's come forward a little bit more to Frank and Roosevelt and now talk about April Randolph, who, of course, was there because he told Roosevelt, I'm going to shut Washington down with a march on Washington, which forced uh, Roosevelt to sign Executive Order 8802, which opened up jobs in the war industry, which is why sh which is why Kanye's people and people in Detroit and Oakland and Portland ended up in those cities in those integrated jobs to get those jobs that are not there now and because in the industrialization collapsed them. But let's talk about I want to talk about a woman, Mary McLeod Bethune. Ms. Bethune is in the Oval Office through mostly through Eleanor Roosevelt because she said, "When I come in here, I'm representing the entire race." I have an agenda. Kanye West was in that room for one purpose, to adorn Donald Trump's fever dream. That man has no business in the White House. He was there because Donald Trump could use him. He's a useful idiot. Jim Brown was in the room because Jim Brown hasn't criticized Donald Trump. But if you listen carefully to what Jim Brown said, he said, I'm not asking for anything. We can criticize him on that. Mm -hmm. But when you look at his American stuff, you look at his attempt at gang intervention, right. he's an iconoclastic guy. But mm -hmm. one thing's for sure, Jim Brown don't want nothing from Donald Trump. Yeah. This other guy, Kanye West, it, he's a rapper. But if you look now, T.I. came out against him. The other hip hop chance to rap actually, from Chicago. Actually, 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 when they had the criminal justice reform uh, summit there, they invited Ti. Ti said, "Oh, I'll come if I can bring Farrakhan." Come on, brother. Mm -hmm. They didn't invite him. But hold on one second. <laughs> you said your ninety-one. Friends with Jim Brown. On, you by said the way. your ninety-one-year-old grandmother from Tennessee, huh? Yeah. Got you. You ever heard of Dorothy Cooper? Uh oh. No, I haven't heard. Dorothy of Dorothy Cooper was a ninety-six-year-old black woman in Tennessee, mm -hmm. who in two thousand twelve election couldn't vote. Mm. You know why she couldn't vote? Because mm. Republicans passed their voter ID law, and she had to have her marriage certificate, which she could not find because she got married by 50-plus years early. <laughs> now, how would your grandmother feel about that when the person you're, he's sitting across from supports voter suppression? Oh, and that's a, how, that's how, a really good question. How, how would you, you, how, how would you question. feel? How would you feel that right now in Georgia, mm -hmm. that the Secretary of State in Georgia, Republican Brian Kemp? 1.4 million uh, re uh, registrations he's thrown out. Right now, some 53,000 voter registrations he's holding up, 70% of them African-American, mm -hmm. Republican. How would you feel about the Republican Secretary of State in Missouri, who just got admonished by a federal judge who ran a commercial telling folk they had to bring their voter ID to vote, mm -hmm. and the federal judge said that was a lie. How do you feel about a conservative mm -hmm. Supreme Court who just affirmed a voter ID initiative in North Dakota, which said that you had to have a physical address, not a P.O. box, when some several thousand Native Americans, <laughs> the folks who were here before white folks, mm -hmm. don't, they live on the reservation, don't have a physical mm -hmm. address. Mm -hmm. And so here you got Kanye, because I didn't hear anybody bring up voter suppression. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear anybody bring up Trump 
why are you supporting policies and why is your party and uh, McDaniel, the GOP chairwoman, why are you supporting efforts to, to deny black folks the right to vote? Why did your attorney general, Jeff Sessions, go side with the side of Texas when five federal judges mm -hmm. ruled that their voter ID initiative disenfranchised 600,000 people who look like you and me and Latinos? Mm -hmm. That's the same person he hugged with, I love you, guy. So you tell me this, well, if you're going to have a seat at the table, are you going to bring voter suppression up? Well, we can start calling the Big Mama, because that's her name. We don't have to say I great names. Right <laughs> we can start calling the Big right. Mama. Big Mama. But, but, so but, this, but let, me, let, me, let me first say this. Mm -hmm. Let me first say this. I hope no one misconstrues the fact that I am trying to compare not at all. any of the men that you mentioned to Kanye West, because no they're not. But let me tell you what, my, what Big Mama would have told me, and let me show you the example that she said. Mm -hmm. On voting day, she got away to the polls. She could not drive. She could not read. Did she you, could not wrote. Did, she, you, did you skip what I said? No. Let me, you asked me a question about Dor what she would Dorothy say. I'm Cooper, telling you. Dorothy, I'm telling you. Bruh, let Dorothy me finish. Cooper wanted to go to the polls. Right. Can I finish? Dorothy Cooper voted right. her entire life, right. but right. she was denied the right to vote because of Republican voter suppression right. efforts. You, you asked me a question. I'm giving you the response of what my great grandmother taught me. But you didn't answer the question. I'm answering the question. She made sure, and before anybody took her to the polls, months before, she made sure everything and was buttoned up from her end, and she Bruh, always told us. Did you us not that. just hear what I said? They said you need your marriage certificate. Well, and the woman got married like 60 years earlier. Right, right, right. What are you talking her, about? Right. No, do you know how many her. old? Okay. We're not blaming Do you know her. how many old people to to in point, Wisconsin, just, yeah. Mississippi, Alabama, Florida couldn't vote because they right. said? I can't find my marriage. Or, or, I don't have Roland, a birth certificate. Roland, the point I'm, I was well, the born point, the point, <laughs> right. Roland, The point I'm trying to make right. is right. we need to, just like Big Mama did, we need to focus the conversation on voter education so we can teach our young men and women the importance and the responsibility of your right no, to vote. what we have That's to do is to do. go after Republicans who say that you can't submit a, a certificate from the Bureau of Vital Statistics. Right. You need to submit the birth certificate with the raised seal. <laughs> That's the only one we're going to accept. Mm -hmm. Bruh, don't try that. Don't, the reality is this here. If this woman, this sister, 96 years old, right. she said, I don't know what my marriage certificate is. Mm -hmm. Their deal is, if you don't have the raised seal, mm -hmm. that's the only one we're going to accept. Why would they only say the raised seal? Even though when you go get a copy, you're getting it from the state. Same they place. said, no, you can't use that one. We want the raised seal. But this, this so a they question. don't have access it, to it. No, 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 hold on. Are you, I want, I want you. Are you implying, just, just out of curiosity, I've heard you talk about this uh, issue on your segment or not, do you imply that these type of race seals or photo ID and these laws are only just for black people? No, they what I'm, impact no, 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 no. What, just, I'm just saying, what I'm saying is the studies show disproportionately exactly. who they impact. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What I'm showing you right. is that in Philadelphia in 2012, the mm -hmm. head of the Pennsylvania Republican Party stood in front of the cameras and said Mitt Romney is going to win Pennsylvania mm -hmm. because of voter ID. And what they did there was they said, okay, we'll offer you a free ID. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what the elderly had to do? The elderly had to go to the office, sign an affidavit to get the free ID, go back home, God. Wait for it to be approved. Mm -hmm. Go back to the office <laughs> to pick up the voter ID and then come back home. Now, how many elderly folks do you know have the ability to go from home, office, home, back office, home? Here's the reality. Mm -hmm. Republicans across this country, I can go down the line because I've been covering this, bro, for the last decade, mm -hmm. have systematically attacked and surgically surgically mm -hmm. in fact we got a federal judge in north, who ruled <laughs> in north carolina that's right. that they use laser <laughs> like <laughs> precision yeah. to target black voters bro right. it's in the federal ruling that Re north carolina republican party use right. laser like precision right. to target black voters so to answer your question it's yes. But look but look at Georgia though. You we, we haven't talked about Georgia yet. Right. But look at the current Georgia law. The Georgia law, those fifty seven thousand ballots that are kinda of held up and they say, well they can file a provisional uh, vote on uh, on on November sixth. The law in Georgia is that okay, so you fill out your voter registration card, right? If it doesn't match letter for letter, comma for comma, on right. some prior government forms that the individual may or may not have filled out. Whether it's the government, whether you right. got married or divorced, if it doesn't match 
We're tossing it. So if I put out. Roland Martin <laughs> right. and not Roland S. S. Martin, it's it gets pulled. tossed. In fact, since you asked for the evidence, <laughs> are they specifically targeting black people? I didn't ask you. The, right. no, actually, you did. You said, I didn't ask uh, you said am I? No, hold up. Let me roll it back. Mm -hmm. Are you implying right. that these efforts are targeting black people in North Carolina? No. They had no, email. Oh, no, hold up. That's what you. Is that not what you asked? I asked you, do you think these issues are, targeted are, on, are only people. targeted just to black people? They are They are largely targeting us, because you know why North Carolina? They got the emails. They, they asked the question, when do black people vote during early voting? Mm -hmm. They came back, 70% of black people vote in the first week of early voting. So you know what they did? And they registered on Sunday. They said, we're going to slash. <laughs> they shut that down. Hold <laughs> up, so talking black people. They said, we're going to slash. <laughs> All early voting during the first two weeks, and we only gonna have one location in the whole county. Mm -hmm. They got the email. Then they said we gonna get rid of voting on Sundays. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Souls so to the, the polls. polls. <laughs> <laughs> the, the evidence is there. So, you, so we. I mean, we. This ain't even a debate. And this <laughs> is certified debate. Republican Party uh, politics, and then uh, rules. I can go down the states. Iowa. Pennsylvania, Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Arkansas, Texas, Florida. We can go down the line. This is a systematic effort. And what I'm trying to tell you is the person Kanye was sitting across from got no problem with it mm -hmm. because he understands it's going to help his party. And all I'm simply saying is <laughs> if you're going to have a seat at the table, you might want to bring that up. Well, but, and, but right, Georgia, and right now, at this point, watch this. Hold I think on one second, man. we have Georgia. a seat at the table, and I think it's okay. important. It's important that we focus on being proactive. Wow. Of being hold up. You know what? Hold up. We are being proactive. Can, can Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law exactly. filing lawsuits. In NAACP Legal right. Defense Fund filing lawsuits. Right. And it, and see, oh, so, what, what I meant by that is the fact that we need to continue to push for policy uh, okay. to protect so, hold up. So, people. Are, to protect. Hold up. are you cool with voter suppression? No, I'm not cool with voter suppression. Are they wrong? What I, who, who, who are they? Is the Republican Party wrong for supporting voter suppression? Roland, a Republican Party or Democratic Party cannot stop me from voting. No, no, but you answered my question. Oh, a Republican, oh, yes, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, yes, they yes, can. They can. <laughs> I've been a vote. I'm not going to give away oh, my Hold up, hold up. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you. He just went down <laughs> four or five different states where voter suppression where a federal court has determined that they surgically Texas, did it against live and federal plan, judges. And, and, and they plan, can't we need stop to educate. No, no, no. I'm going to Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's a nice pivot. I'm good at that, too. But I'm going to ask you a question again. <laughs> you Do question. you believe that the Republican Party in those states, they are specifically suppressing the vote? Do I think? No, I do not think that they are specifically oppressing. Okay. The so hold up. So even though say a federal, even though a panel That's of federal exactly. judges okay. wrote that was laser-like okay. precision targeting black voters and overturned the voter ID law, you're saying that ruling was incorrect? Roland, what I'm telling you is I do not believe that there are Republicans that are going down the books and saying, I don't want black people to vote. We're going to stop and make them. They're not going to be able to vote. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's Greg, right, Greg, Greg, go ahead. Go ahead. Hold, hold, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What, what makes Georgia, 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 Georgia worse? Let me just say this. What makes Georgia worse? is that the person, the Republican nominee for governor, is the Secretary, Secretary of State, State, who's pulling the ballots out and holding them and saying you can file a provisional and order. The and, a, and, a, and the consultant who gave me his campaign <laughs> recommended getting rid of the seven of the nine voting uh, sites in a county that was 70% black. But that just happened and to be that's what that just, that, that, up, that, that just, hap right that just happened to be like kind of accidental, right? That's, that's a great message, Roland. And I've been hearing you say this over and over every night. Was, no, it's was fact. This, was this happening eight years ago? Or no, bro. Fact. Yes. No. No. Oh, it, it has. Bro, at 2008. Well, were we talking hold on, hold about up. it? Yes, we were. Was the president talking about? Yes, it? Yes, he was. What did he, what did he do about well, which it? Which one? President Obama. Yes, see, wait a minute. What did he do about it? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. See, she want facts. What did he do about it? 2012, when in Ohio, Republican-led county boards extended voting hours with Republican counties and cut voting hours in Democratic counties, it was the Obama administration, his campaign, who sued the Secretary of State, sued Ohio, took him to court, and the Secretary of State of Ohio admitted that was wrong. Now you got your facts. Go ahead, go and ahead, Scott. Saying, yeah. Bruh, my hold point, up. Don't throw rolling. something out, bro. if point, you ain't got the facts. My point, Roland, is Scott, go ahead. Issues these are local and issues? And, and yes. this is how yep. I fight. Oh, yeah. my God. This is, Actually, this is, this is Voting uh, is a state go issue. Go on. Go on. Voting yeah. is a state issue, which is why. Yeah, especially if they go to the voting rights. Well, this is, this is exactly, exactly where I was going, Rolling. Voting is a Supreme state issue, which is why it was Shelby County, Alabama versus Eric Holder, Attorney General of the United States. Why? 
because they were trying to destroy the pre-clearance provision of the Voting Rights Act. And the moment the Supreme Court threw it out, under every Obama, because they, sing, yeah. every single one of those All southern of states instituted instituted massive voter suppression immediately. Absolutely. And, and, that, and I say I, I didn't say they waited two weeks. No, mm -hmm. they had the, the laws ready. The next day of the American legislative. People. Those were also right. Republican led right. legislature. Right. Just so you know. What but I you know ask what? you, as a professor, mm -hmm. do you not think it would be a great idea for us to use a show as such when you have a seat at the table to educate young black men, young black women? About the you, importance no, no, of voting. Yes, no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's actually that's I got to get at. Let, suppressing let, our hold on, votes. Scott. Let me get. Let me get. Yeah. Let me give you a very, a very, Greg, a very basic. Today is Thursday. In my Tuesday class, Tuesday morning class, mm -hmm. I asked students. I said, "Who's from Florida? Who's from Georgia? Are you registered to vote? And what's the status of your absentee ballot that's if right. you're not going that's home?" Right. You know what I heard? I heard a kid from Florida say he hadn't gotten his ballot yet. I heard two kids from Georgia say they haven't gotten their ballots yet. So to answer your question very directly, based on experience I had 48 hours ago, mm -hmm. we're already beginning to see how they're going to try to steal this election. And, and I'm telling losing. you from students who are conscientious, Howard University res registered thousands of students over Absolutely. the last couple of months. But Absolutely. I'm saying, and Georgetown was part of it. Some of those students, all the kids in D.C, American, George Washington. Mm -hmm. My but wife I, went to Howard Law and she's okay, been part no, of the no, process what I'm saying as well. Is I, not only do I agree with you, mm -hmm. my little sample poll in the room began to reveal and when, they, and when they found out from each other, when they heard each other, they was like, oh, wait a minute, hold on. All those kids they are They start now, to act, right? Scott, these, because they already acted. They, they right. sent for their ass. Scott, my, point, what, my Scott, point is when they, those, these those, are they, they didn't huge arrive, they started issues, to act. Scott, at the state level, you county level, at the table. and even at the federal level, but at the state level, right. which we are trying to have more African Americans in governorships in the state houses that we lost, it makes no sense. We should always do voter education for our young people, which Absolutely. we have done, and right. we continue to Absolutely. do it. We are experts at it, right? Black folks real good at that. <laughs> but, but when we say, them well, to when, the we, polls, when we say oh, no, it, we message, them to the polls, they are suppressing our vote. It's I think that's exactly. a horrible so message. What, bro, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Scott, stop, hold on. Of course it does. Bruh, you cannot sit here and say, when we say they are suppressing the vote, it's sending a horrible message. The horrible message is suppressing the vote. How is it that you somehow can't even articulate that? It's like you were scared to say that's wrong. No. You were scared. No, you, no. you know, you were saying, well, we got to our folks. Found it Here's wrong. the deal. Fact, there were literacy tests. There were poll tests. Every, for, they have always put barriers in black folks' way. And you know what we did? We hurdled the barriers right. and still fought to bring the barriers That's down. Right. But, mm -hmm. bro, don't sit here and act like we can't fight to bring the barriers down when we got evidence, undeniable evidence, where they have been targeting us. Targeting us because they want to shave the voters off here and shave them off here and shave them off here. Undeniable empirical data, and your answer is, well, can we just teach our people to go ahead and just, 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 you no, know, no, just to go no, ahead no, and register? No, 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 come on, Doc. You say you don't believe it's happening. My, no, my point is this. Is oh, it happening? You're yes in or no? Denial. If are you are they, that, are you're they, in denial. are they making, are they right. putting policies in place to don't suppress want, don't own it. folks from voting? No, yes or no? No you one, no. no one that I have met. In the city of Memphis that, that I've talked met? to, oh, that's people, I served overseas oh for two God. and a half years. Sure. Oh I had to do absentee voting. Sure. Well, the I military, just, sure. I just transferred over from Tennessee to Virginia. It was an arduous process, mm -hmm. but it was an arduous process that all Americans have to do, and it's our responsibility to understand those processes and help, Understood. help our youth Understood. and help that's elderly why, people. That's why Septa McClark in South Carolina started the Citizenship Education Project. While the NAACP Legal Defense Fund and everybody else was suing at the Supreme Boom. Court level, they were teaching Septa McClark they, the free Schools there you in go. Mississippi. There you, you got to learn. Right. But, here, but here's a question right. you can never answer, right. brother. How many bubbles in a bar of soap? There's no way to answer that question. In other words, right. when you put an impediment <laughs> before that it's absurd, you're not saying that they're not uh, yeah, trying I'm, to suppress the vote. I'm not saying that but, poll but taxes that's, 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 before the Voting Rights Act was But what Roland were, just explained you in Pennsylvania is the equivalent of a poll tax, but brother. Roland, when an elder has to go back and forth several times who's on limited income, that's a poll I'm tax. Since right? you from Tennessee, <laughs> I'm just going just, just to end it this tax. way. Here, just go to my iPad. <laughs> Democrats in Tennessee County alleged voter suppression. Uh -oh. The Tennessean, voter suppression in Tennessee should be on its way out. Tennessee Tribune, facts show voter ID laws limit turnout. Tennessee.gov, what ID is required uh, when voting? 
facing South Tennessee students continue to fight against a discriminatory voter ID law. KnoxNews.com, voter suppression more destructive than rare fraud. Bruh, that's your state. And you had the nerve to sit here and say it's not existing? Bruh, come on. <laughs>